come, I'm gonna be a little closer because I'm way far ahead and you're far back. It just looks weird. I'll just be as unawkward as possible. Awkward. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 42 of the Oak Life Show. I'm here with my fellow cyclone, Miss Brody Wilson, representing the ISU, that's Iowa. Iowa State. University. Not to be confused with any Redbirds. It's a totally different mascot. And not to be confused with the University of Iowa, because they're Which terrible. is like the biggest insult ever. <laughs> sorry, that's a different show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a Hawkeye. Okay. Miss Miss Wilson came to us a couple months ago. She's here for the summer, into the fall a little bit. A little bit, figuring it out. <laughs> in September, October, you are leaving. Yes. Where are you going? I got stationed at Lackland Air Force Base in San Antonio, Texas. Gotcha. That is not close to Roscoe, Illinois. If you, if, you, if you're no. on a map, <laughs> they're not they're not close to each other. Why are you going to San Antonio? Because they told me to. Who's they? The Air Force. The Air Force told you to. Yes, they did. You said, hello, Air Force. I would like to become a part of this. And they told me what to do and where to go. And so they so. said, go to San Antonio. Yeah. So that's exciting. Yeah. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. I am. Excellent. There comes some stress with this, though. Just a little. Okay. Because <laughs> they, they require some, some standards, some physical fitness standards. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're good with everything except, can I say, the running was a little... Um, Scary? My running is my worst portion. I struggle a little bit with push-ups, but I've never had an issue passing. And then the weight... And push-ups have gotten better. We've been practicing some push-ups. Yeah, push-ups have gotten better. Can I say that? Yeah. And I'm not just making this up for the camera. No, they've gotten better. Okay, good. Because you've been practicing. Yep. Okay, good. I you've been practicing, right? Okay, yeah. good. Yeah. There's homework here. <laughs> She's doing her homework. Um, but yeah, there's also a weight component and you have to meet a certain weight for your height and I struggle with that, but there's a waist measurement that I have no problem with, so. Good. Because you've always been kind of a more strength athlete. Yes, well, since I started CrossFit. Okay, gotcha. But versus the, you weren't on the cross country team. How could you tell? I just, I'm just saying yes. people are wired up differently. You like yeah. lifting the weights. I do. You like the barbell. That doesn't scare you. Deadlift day is exciting. It is. It is. Yeah. So that's that's fun. So is bench press day. Bench press day is <laughs> also exciting. <laughs> Cha ching. So you you came upon so your weight was kind of stagnant for a little while, and then you came upon a realization. What was this realization? So, <laughs> um, it turns out that I had been tracking calories for. so so long and exercising every single day, sometimes twice a day, and not making any progress and sometimes falling backwards. Mm -hmm. And so, turns out I wasn't actually eating enough calories because <laughs> I used to be eating about 12 to 1300 a day and not counting my workouts. And then I started eating around 1600 a day, and all of a sudden, my body wants to cooperate. So, gotcha. and you started losing some weight. Yeah. Which is nice. It is. Why do you think that happened? Um, you ate more and gained more. You lot lost more. Well, actually, I used to see a nutritionist, and okay. she told me that my body was stuck in starvation mode, mm -hmm. and so my workouts weren't really effective because I wasn't feeding my muscle and et cetera, et cetera. So I've learned. Good. Good, good, good. And it is very interesting. Like the whole calories, calories, calories in, calories out thing. Yes. Not totally true. <laughs> We're not this machine where it's like, oh, I eat one more calorie than I should. It turns into fat. Like, it's not mm -hmm. that sign. A lot of hormones, mm -hmm. especially in the female body, which I don't understand yeah, at all. Yeah, um, yeah, well, in that starvation <laughs> mode, your body doesn't know when it's going to get to the next meal. It freaks out. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm going to hold on to all this weight. I don't want it to leave because yep. I'm not getting fed. It's pretty much what was happening. <laughs> and then you feed yourself a little bit more. It can relax, mm -hmm. especially with all the working out you've been doing. Yeah. Because I hear these workouts are challenging. Uh, they're they're okay. Unless it's, you know, above 86 degrees. It's only 86 <laughs> right now. It's a little bit humid. Uh, a little bit. So that makes it hard to recover, muscles to recover, body to recover, and then you come back and do it the next day or you know day after or whatever, mm -hmm. and actually be running on all cylinders. So you're feeling better. Yes. Uh, how's how's your fitness changing? 
Um, well, I actually I had to take some time off because I had a knee injury, but I'm back to all of my old maxes, and I've even passed a few of them, which mm -hmm. is pretty cool. Um, because you came in with a knee injury. This is a couple months ago. Yeah. Can I say that? Okay, gotcha. That's fair. They're mm -hmm. still kind of iffy, but they're working well. Good. So, Improvement. Surpassed maxes, exactly. And uh, the running is really well, really going great. Um, been running like every day. My goal is to do two miles a day, which sometimes happens and sometimes doesn't happen. But Life it's a happens. Goal. So yeah, it's been pretty good. So things are on. It's up and up. Yeah, definitely. So to takeaways from this, in a nutshell, if you're gonna train or whatever goals you have, which whether they be you know body you know slimming down or strength or whatever, you have to feed your body appropriately yeah. <laughs> for whatever you're putting it through. Definitely. And if you just go into starvation mode, it will work for a day or two or maybe even a week or a couple weeks. It, it does work, but it is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. Yeah. We're kind of looking for things that sustain. Yeah. And starvation, not normally a good thing. No, not so much. <laughs> Food's good now and again. Or always. Or always. Yeah. yeah. All the time. <laughs> We'd like to thank Brody. We had to suck her into doing this. She actually loves the camera. She just doesn't know it. <laughs> her with the camera. And from both of us, go Cyclones. Yeah.